Hello everyone and welcome to the NASCAR Xfinity Series Wawa 250 from Daytona. In your front row you have the 7 of Justin Allgaier and the 54 of Ty Gibbs. So this is the best chance for everyone below the cut line to try to win their way into the playoffs. As we still have after this race 3 races in the regular season at Darlington, Kansas, and Bristol before the Xfinity playoffs start at Las Vegas. But first we have this Daytona race. Of course, we'll be most excited for the race tomorrow, the Cup Series regular season finale. But we are green here at Daytona. Justin Allgaier and Ty Gibbs on the front row. Allgaier with a slight advantage as they go through the trial now heading into turn one. Of course, last week's winner, Josh Berry at Watkins Glen back in third, right behind his teammate, Justin Allgaier. So we have 104 laps here at Daytona to decide a winner. So Allgaier clear for the lead over the 54 of Ty Gibbs early here at Daytona. But you see the pack going two and three wide, trying to get as many positions as possible. Josh Berry goes underneath his teammate, and Josh Berry trying to go to the race lead here at Daytona. Behind him, you got Trevor Baines, Sam Mayer, and Austin Hill on the inside lane. Stage one ends on lap 26. Stage 2 is going to end on lap 56, and of course after that we have the run to the final stage, just so we know the stage breakdown. So the first lap completed, Josh Berry and tr leads that lap, but Trevor Bain the 18 right there alongside. Of course the 18 and Trevor Bain right on that playoff call line entering, that race, try entering this race trying to win his way into the playoffs in that number 18 Joe Gibbs Racing Toyota, Cam Toyota Supra. So... Bain in the lead, but then there's Sam Mayer now going to go the inside lane as Trevor Bain moved up to the top line to cover Josh Berry. Sam Mayer is going to have a run on the bottom, try to move his way into the lead with the 21 machine of Austin Hill. Trevor Bain is going to block Sam Mayer, almost not quite. Can't quite get the block done, so the one of Sam Mayer is going to take the advantage as they go side by side for the lead into three and four. Of course, earlier this year in the races where Brandon Brown got his win. That temporarily has him into the playoffs. So on lap three now, you have Sam Mayer, who led that lap over Trevor Bain. They're alongside for the lead. And Austin Hill, Josh Berry in the second row, Brandon Jones and Allgaier in the third row. So Sam Mayer now clears Trevor Bain for the race seat at Daytona. Sam Mayer already two victories this season at Circuit of the Americas and Darlington. At Darlington, he beat Trevor Bain in a photo finish. Now him and Trevor Bain battling for the lead here at Daytona. So Sam Mayer now edges ahead with a good shove from the 21 of Austin Hill. To complete lap 3, we now have 101 to go. Here at Daytona, Sam Mayer with the advantage, Charbain there right with him. As everyone still 2x2, two two, side by side, battling for the lead. And all the other positions throughout the field. Down the back stretch, St. Mary Torbane still side by side in control of this race right now. Everyone seems to be mostly content running two by two at the moment. See back there, you yeah, might have some underdog cars having some good runs. And it's usually what always happens here at Daytona. So come through, the one of St. Mayor will lead that lap. Now we move on to lap 11. Is the 21 of Austin Hill and the 98 of Riley Earps battling for the race lead? Sam Aaron and Trevor Bain have been shoved a little bit further back in the field. You see the 34 of Kyle Weatherman and the 31 of Maya Snyder working at the bottom with Sage, Karim, or Jacques Ruth. Got a bunch of underdog underfunded teams here training along on the bottom line as Riley Herbst and Austin Hill battle for the lead. Riley Herbst, two time Super Speedway winner. He won at Atlanta earlier this year and won at Michigan. You know, Michigan doesn't really race like a super speedway, but if you want, those are his two instances. Austin Hill winless, but close to that playoff cut line. And we know he's a great super speedway racer, so he's got a good shot at this race. So it's now in lap 12. Riley Herbst will take the lead from Toronto Austin Hill. He leads that lap. A great shove from Maya Snyder in the 31 for Jordan Anderson and Kyle Weatherman in the 34 for Jesse Awuji Motorsports.
So Riley Hurst will now clear the 21 of Austin Hill. Go to block him on the top and open the door for the 31 of Myatt Snyder who goes with him. But then the 34 of Kyle Weatherman now going to be the leader of that bottom line. With help from the 45 of Sage Karam. And now they're three wide for third as Erps and Austin Hill remain side by side for the race lead. Here comes Kyle Weatherman in the 34 in the third place trying to get his first ever win. He's having a great run here at Daytona. The whole pack all together. This is all the chaos we expected at Daytona. But, you know, it's not a question of if. It's a question of when the big one's going to strike. We will see. So Riley Herbst, Austin Hill, side by side for the lead. Kyle Weatherman now moving into third place. Trying to go for second on Austin Hill. Maybe even take the lead away from the 98 of Riley Herbst. What a move from the 34 of Weatherman. He's right up here as well as the 45 of Karam and the 44 of Carruth. Now we move on to lap 17. It is still Riley Herbst in the lead, but now alongside the 2 of Sheldon Creed, who has driven his way up to the front, as well as the 10 of Landon Castle, and the 51 of Jeremy Clements on the inside lane. These guys are catching a pack of lap cars, though, as those five slow lap cars always seem to get in the way. Hopefully they don't ruin uh, the pack here at Daytona, as we've had some great racing at the front of the field so far. Sheldon Creed now clears the 10 of Landon Castle. And so Sheldon Creed clear as your leader here at Daytona. He will now block Landon Castle. Oh, can't block Landon Castle. Is now underneath him for the lead on the inside lane here of the great shot from Jeremy Clements and JJ Yaley. And then Brandon Brown, Jeb Burton, and then the 02 of Blaine Perkins. So we have a bunch of five straight underdogs there on the bottom line behind Landon Castle. So right now it's Creed and Castle fighting for the lead, but these guys are really catching that pack of lap traffic really fast. This could make it very dicey for everyone to try to make it through and stay in the race here. You see Creed and Castle alongside each other for the lead at the line. They'll mark Landon Castle, the race leader. As he gets ahead of Sheldon Creed with a great shot from 51 of Jeremy Clemens, who actually won Talladega earlier this year to get his win, which has him tentatively into the playoffs if he can remain in the top 20 in driver points. And now you're, they've caught the slap track by Parker Retzloff. The 38 is going to hold up Castle. And Clemens Castle goes to the bottom, though, is able to negotiate Parker Retzloff as he's going to block Sheldon Creed. And this whole bottom lane is going through. Now they have to negotiate Ryan Vargas, Mason Massey, Kyle Sieg, Bailey Curry. Lap traffic is completely blocked both lines right now, but the bottom line is more clear and has more momentum. So Landon Castle and Jeremy Clemens on the bottom there, passing everyone on the outside lane is getting stacked up. And they're losing their positions. And now Landon Castle goes three wide to the bottom to try to negotiate both Curry and Massey, which he will do. As Landon Castle will now clear this first pack of live traffic, followed by Jeremy Clemens in second and Che Che Yaley in third, and then Brandon Brown fourth and Jeb Burton in the fifth position to round out your top five. As now we transfer on to lap 23. Come to the last couple laps of this stage. AJ Allmendinger, Landon Castle, battling for the lead with Anthony Alfredo and John Hunter Nemechek behind them. At the line here, they're going to give the lead to the 16 of AJ Allmendinger. So the two colleague teammates controlling the race right now. But how about Alfredo and Nemechek having good runs for those respective teams? Those are the O2 of Blaine Perkins in this lead pack. Brandon Brown, JJ Yaley, Alex LeBay, Jeremy Clements. Shout out to all of those guys. As now Nemechek to the bottom goes three wide between Castle and Allmendinger. And Nemechek will go the lead with three to go on the stage. I'm trying to get in position to get these all crucial stage points, which are huge to decide who makes the playoffs and who will not here as we close the regular season in just a few weeks' time for this Xfinity series. So Almendinger alongside Nemechek for the lead. John Hunter now into the trioval will lead this lap. So Nemechek, your leader, with two to go in stage one here at Daytona. Noah Gregson, AJ Allmendinger behind him, and then Ty Gibbs and Landon Castle, and then Trevor Bain and Anthony Alfredo. And then Brandon Jones, Blaine Perkins, and Brandon Brown round out your top ten. Everyone jockeying for every position they can get right now. It is intense racing for the stage win. Nemechek clears Almendinger, moves up to the top lane. 
but opens the door for the bottom of the nine of Noah Gregson in that middle lane and the 18 and Charmaine all the way on the inside. Nemechek though covers them off. Nemechek maintaining the race lead, trying to get his first ever Xfinity stage win. And of course Nemechek contending for truck points, so he's just here to try to win the race. He's going to be that number 26 Sam Hunt Racing Toyota. As now we hit the last lap of stage one, John Hunter Nemechek is in the lead. Gregson second, Trevor Main third, Almendinger fourth, Brandon Jones fifth that time by. As we have the command to throw out the yellow for the end of the stage ready for when we go down the back stretch to make sure everyone has enough time to cross the line. That's no second and third packs. And there is, we put the yellow out down the back stretch now. The battle for the stage win. Noel Gregson goes to the inside of the 26 of Nemechek. Leaving the Trevor Bain, the 18, goes three wide for the lead here. On the last lap of the stage, everyone going for the stage win. The 18 and Trevor Bain needs it more than any of those guys. Trevor Bain uh, right on the playoff cut line. He needs as many points as possible, so he's going for the stage win. They are going to be side by side, Bain and Gregson. To the line, Brandon Jones goes to the inside. They're three wide at the line. Trevor Bain wins stage one. Brandon Jones is second. Noah Gregson third. Ryan Sieg fourth. AJ Allmendinger fifth. Sheldon Creed sixth. John Harnemichek seventh. Ty Gibbs eighth. Jeb Burton ninth. And Landon Castle rounds out your top ten stage point earners. And now we are on the restart for stage two. We have the lap cars all in the inside lane and all your leaders on the outside. Trevor Bain leads the field back to green here on lap 31. With 26 to go in this stage, Trevor Bain is your leader. Brandon Jones and Gregson behind, as well as Sieg and Almendinger. As a lot of the leaders getting stuck, trying to make moves, and getting held up behind this lap. Traffic that is going to really divide the packs up into a bunch of separate packs here at Daytona. As it looks like this lead pack will contain Trevor Bain, Brandon Jones, Noah Gregson, Ryan Sieg, AJ Allmendinger, and John Hunter Nemechek. As they have to try to negotiate the 13 of Timmy Hill, the lap car. As uh, what actually happened here is I don't know why, but the 31 of Maya Snyder is out of the race after after the end of stage one. Maybe something happened in the pit lane. I don't know, but Maya Snyder is out of the race. So just keep that in the back of your mind for any of you Maya Snyder fans out there. It's unfortunate. And so now on lap 32, Trevor Bain clear for the lead over Gregson, Brandon Jones, Sieg, and Almendinger, and Nemechek. So you have a six-car lead pack, and everyone else is going to be in that second pack. So this six-car lead pack is going to be just the contenders for the stage win pretty much for the rest of the stage. As now, we are going to move on to lap 55, coming to the last lap of stage two. It has been these six who have pulled away about a couple seconds back to this one or two seconds back to that second pack led by Josh Berry as you see behind them they're trying to catch him they're gonna run out of time as right now it's Ryan Sieg and Trevor Bain battling for the stage win with Nemechek, Almendinger, Gregson and Brandon Jones behind them so we'll see who will prevail to win this stage Trevor Bain trying to sweep the stage this is of course he won stage one as he's trying to maximize as many points as he can get here as now we come to the last lap of stage two. Trevor Bain in the lead, then they're three wide for second and side by side for fifth. We have the yellow command ready. As they're still three wide for second. Gregson goes into second. Sieg drops back. Nemechek and Brandon Jones now battling for third. As we are now down the back stretch, we are of course going to toss the yellow right now. So they can race back to the line. Decide to stage win. So Trevor Bain with the advantage. He clears no Gregson. Trevor Bain has had a very fast Toyota Supra for JGR tonight and has been looking like the favorite to win this race right now. As he comes down to the trioval. And Trevor Bain this time will comfortably do it as Trevor Bain wins stage two and sweeps the stage of Daytona. Gregson second, Brandon Jones third, Nemechek third, Omnir fourth, Sieg fifth. And then you see the rest of the stage results. You got she was actually six. You got Josh Berry back in seventh, so on and so forth. And now we're in the restart late here in this final stage. Once again, lap cars have divided the pack to a six-car lead pack, and everyone else jockeying a far away behind the lead pack. All right, we have Gregson and Nemechek battling for the lead. Trevor Bain and Brandon Jones. So the same four there, but two new drivers into the second pack. You have Sheldon Creed and Anthony Alfredo as Almendinger and. Only saw now this pack and Ryan Sieg is actually out of the race. He had a very fast car, got stage points in both stages, but Sieg is out now for apparently an incident that happened at the end of stage two under caution. 
I cannot completely identify what happened, but just like my Snyder, Sieg's out of the race. That's really unfortunate. It's Ryan Sieg's right on the cut line as well, where Trevor Bain is. So Sieg is now in danger of missing the playoffs. But right now, it is Gregson and Nemechek battling for the lead in the six-car lead pack that has pulled substantially away from the rest of the field, who's being completely blocked by lap traffic. As lap cars, of course, start on the inside lane with the 2003 rules here that we have to abide by because this is Enter 2003. If I could put in the 2022 rules, I would, so, you know, this wouldn't happen. We'd have a whole pack racing, but right now we have a six-car pack battling for the victory and for the lead here at Daytona. And now we transfer on to lap 88, I think. Lap 86, 9 of Noah Gregson. And the 26 of John Harnimichek have actually both come down pit road. Um, I don't know why, but they come down pit road. So now they're both a lap down. No one else pitted. They're both now a lap down to your leaders. Well, Nemechek's about to be lapped. And it's basically now a four-car battle between Sheldon Creed, Trevor Bain, Anthony Alfredo, and Brandon Jones for the lead and the victory here. Alfredo needs to win to get into the playoffs. Trevor Bain and Brandon Jones right near that cut line. Well, uh, Creed also right near that cut line. So there you go, as Team Trek's gonna block the leaders, but they will lap him. As now we move all the way on to lap 98, coming to lap 99. Six to go. It is still the same four with the two lappers in this pack. Brandon Jones right now leading, Trevor Bain second, Alfredo and Creed duking it out for third. As we go down through the corners, head down the bashers, Brandon Jones in the lead, looking to get his first win this year. The, bashers, the caution lights are flashing. The caution has come out here to our first caution for cause. Now, uh, I try to figure out what happened. Looks like the 45 Sage Karam is in pit road, so maybe something happened to the 45 machine of Karam. As I uh, will get a replay once your leaders cross the line, so we will see who will be scored where for this restart that we're going to have. And this going to be a restart with very little laps left in the race. I will tell you how much when uh, we get to the restart, of course. But at the line, the 19 will be scored in the lead just ahead of Trevor Bain, then Alfredo and Creed, 1, 2, 3, 4 in that order. So now we rewind with your leaders to back when the caution lights have been triggered. So I can see what occurred as we go through the field to try and find what happens. The 45 stage Karam, it appears, is completely stopped on the bottom of the racetrack here. So Karam completely parked on the bottom of the racetrack, which is what brought out the yellow. Let's see why that occurred so it looks like coming out of turn two here the carom running the outside lane is going to get turned by the 68 of brandon brown and carom is going to go for a ride through the grass here brown saves it keeps going carom is to save it but he goes through the grass and comes to a complete stop on the racetrack which brings out our first and only yellow for cause we're going to have as now we are going to restart with one lap left in the race. It's going to be a one lap shootout for the win here at Daytona. We are green, white flag, final lap presented by Credit One Bank. Brandon Jones in the lead, Trevor Bain just behind in second, and then Alfredo is in third, Creed in fourth. The lap cars of Nemechek and Gregson are mixed in with your leaders. It's every man for himself at this point. Trevor Bain to the bottom, going for the lead on Brandon Jones, trying to both trying to win their way into the playoffs, as well as Alfredo back in third, who has gone the underneath, underneath Nemechek to try to be in contention. Trevor Bain with a great run down the back stretch. It's going to be a clear of the 19. It's now going to be two by two as we come to the checkers. It's down the back stretch into three and four. Trevor Bain into the lead right now over the 19 of Brandon Jones. You have the 23 of Alfredo there. Nima check. Creed. It is going to be a wild stretch coming down to the tribal for the final time trevor bain ahead for the lead alfredo trying to make a move to the bottom it's not going to be enough as trevor bain wins at daytona and he's into the playoffs he gets his first win this season he had 22 laps tonight swept the stages and won the race and this one lap dash trevor bain gets ahead of his teammate the 19 of brandon jones to win very impressive for him uh you scored anthony alfredo second brandon jones third sheldon creed fourth Ty Gibbs, I believe, snags a top five finish. So Trevor Bain pulls off the strong stage sweep, led the most laps, won the race. A dominant performance tonight for Trevor Bain. And he's now into the playoffs, which makes us 10 winners. Two spots available on points right now with three races left. We may be in a situation like we are in the Cup Series where we have 16 winners with one race to go. 
This is going to be very interesting. And so now you view the standings. Of course, Trevor Bain now can slot into sixth on the playoff grid with that one victory. As Landon Castle now only eight points above the cut line. Sheldon Creed only five points above the cut line. Ty Gibbs five points below the cut line. Ryan Sieg is 12 points out. Austin Hill 15 out. Allgaier 21 out. Brandon Jones 22 out. Alfredo is 150 out. Everyone else has to win. So until the next episode, I hope you all have a good one.